crafters. We've had a lot of cool ship crafts in the uh, Facebook group. And I want to eventually do a tilescape ship, which I think would be great. It's a great solution so you don't have this giant ship. But there have been some other really fun and cool versions. Uh, Black Magic Craft did a really cool ship. If you, don't, if you haven't seen that video, check it out. Great ship. Love it. Uh, but I, I uh, wanted to make a boat. Not quite a ship, but enough for more than one person to fit on, right? So I have this kind of cool way that I did it. I found this really cheap boat that I could convert. Actually, it was a canoe that I could convert to a boat. I'm not calling it a ship because it's not really a giant ship. I call it more a boat. But I found this canoe that I could use. It was really cheap, perfectly for this really cool kind of dragon ship. So let's hit the table. I'll show you what I used and how I converted it to make a really cool dragon boat. Hey crafters, I was at Hobby Lobby picking up some supplies and I saw this small little kayak and it was uh, perfect size it seemed for uh, 28 millimeter figures and I could rip the, kind of the guts out of it and the bottom off of it and I'd have a great little uh, base for a boat. So I picked it up and it was only $1.99 so uh, pretty cool. So let's hit the, the head to the table and uh, see what I did with this sucker. The idea of this was to make kind of a dragon boat, right? So I had this uh, cheap dragon. I got this at the dollar store. They occasionally sell these dragons. So I cut the head off and uh, I just used um, uh, wire snips to do this. So I'm going to score the bottom of the head. And the reason I'm doing this and the wings, and the reason I'm doing this is so that the, uh, it'll be easier for the glue to stick because uh, it's kind of a rubbery material. So. It'll just, anything you can make the glue to stick better, that's good. So now I'll start putting these wings on, kind of at the head of the boat here. Front of the boat. Just put some glue on there. Hold it for a few seconds. And we'll get it on there on the front. Then the other side. Kind of a mirror image matching there. So kind of neat. Neat effect. I'll just kind of cover that up where the two meet. Sweet. Now I'm going to put the head on. So very cool. All right, fun. Now I'm going to put uh, some extra details. I had this kind of tear shaped piece of wood I'm going to put on. And then another one on top of that. They have different sizes in the pack. I love these different wood shapes for projects. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start adding the tier shapes uh, to the side, kind of like shields, kind of like, you know, shields on a Viking ship. So there we go. Pretty sweet. Now I'll do the other side. Now I've got these little rhinestones, and these are really cool. I like using these uh, for rivets. So I'm going to kind of put them, there's an edging on the top of the boat there. I'm going to kind of put it there and make it almost like a metal banding, right, when I paint it. So I'll just a teeny little drop of the uh, E6000 and then just put the uh, rivets on there, and then I'll do the rest. And it really helps use a toothpick. Now I've got these uh, prongs that I got from the dollar store. I'm going to cut kind of the center out. It's kind of like a shield looking thing. And I'm going to glue that on with the E6000. And I'll do the other shields. There you can see I've got it done. And now I'll start using um, another rhinestone, a little bigger rhinestone, and put that in the center of the shield. So nice. Really cool. This is going to look great when we paint this up. Now I use my glue gun and kind of add some algae to the bottom of the boat. And this will be really cool when we paint it up. So just a little bit on the bottom there. Not too crazy. Alright, sweet. Now I'm going to add the tail. I cut the tail off the dragon too. 
So I thought that'd be fun. Did the scoring also. Nice, looking good, looking good. And now I'm going to uh, do some uh, stuff on the front here. And I'm going to attach this bead, or I'm sorry, this uh, circle. It's a wooden circle. And this is going to be a platform for a ram uh, this uh, nasty ram I'm going to put on the front of this thing. So here's the ram. I've got a bead uh, and an icicle. I've glued them together and let them dry. And I'm going to glue it on with the E6000. And <laughs> look at that. How do you want like that coming at you? Uh, now I've uh, spray painted it flat black. And I'm painting it with the uh, burnt umber. Just paint the whole thing. It'll start to come to life. Get the bottom. Cool. Now I'll just set it on this plastic tray to let it dry, so it doesn't uh, all the paint doesn't come off when I set it down. So now I'm using uh, uh, like a Mississippi mud. It's kind of this off brown. Uh, I want it to be kind of look old looking. So I'm just painting some details on the dragon pieces themselves. And then I'm going to start painting the planks on to the boat. And the boat doesn't actually have these. I'm just painting these on, right? It's kind of just simulated. And I'm doing the same for the interior. Just the paint's a little wet. And the side beams there. Starting to really fill in here. Now I'm going to use a light gray because I want to kind of do uh, that the wood is old, right? So I'm going to start uh, kind of dry brushing the uh, dragon parts and some of the edging. And then start painting some of the planks. Give it a nice old look. Very cool, very cool. Now the inside, well, the edges first. Edges of those shields. And now the inside. Cool. I'm not totally filling in with gray, just picking out some. It's light gray. Very cool. All right, now I'm going to use a gunmetal and do that big ram on the front. So pretty nasty looking. And I'm going to paint the edges that I said earlier, the edge of the boat. There's kind of an edge on it. And I put those uh, rhinestones, and that looks like a metal band there. Really nice. Just look how this comes alive when you add paint. It's amazing that the junk like this once you start painting it, it can just really come alive. And paint the uh, sh part on the shield there, the middle part on the shields. Do the rest. And now I'm going to use a burnt sienna. It's kind of a rust. Put it on a little bit of the metal there. Cool. Now I'm going to do the algae on the bottom that I did with the uh, glue gun. Just kind of wet this wet green here. Do the other side. So here's our dragon boat cruising down the river. I wanted to give you an idea of what it would look like in an environment. I just think it's really, really cool. So let's hit the table and we'll talk about uh, this uh, boat in more detail. So awesome, awesome. Here we go, here it is, and pretty sweet. So I got these oars and I'm gonna have a bonus craft at the end of the video to show you how I made those. So really easy and cool. And let's take a better, closer look at this, right? We got uh, easily fits four miniatures in there, very cool. and. Uh, yeah, look at the details on that. Really nice. So super cool. And that, that the ram on the front is just so nasty. All the dragon details and all that kind of stuff. And what I like about this craft is it looks much more complicated than it actually was, right? Because uh, we started with the boat, so that made it super easy. We just added these details. And when people look at this, they're going to think you put a ton, a ton of work into it. Where really you just added some details to this kayak. So a really great craft and super easy and pretty cheap. 
Hey friends and fellow crafters, DM Scotty here. I want to talk to you a minute about uh, Patreon. And uh, Patreon has really helped me offset my costs as far as uh, the time and expense of doing these videos. Uh, a lot of people appreciate what I do and want to contribute to the community and my channel. It keeps me, uh, allows me to keep making these high quality videos for you guys. And, and if you join at the dollar level, I usually produce about six to eight crafting videos a month. So it's very reasonable. Um, if I do any videos that aren't crafting, I don't put those, I don't charge my patrons for those, just the crafting videos. So it's six to eight dollars a month, and that's the, ma the max I'm going to do is, is eight. So I'm ne it's never going to be over that. And if you do join at the dollar level, I uh, have the crafters layer each month for my patrons. And it's just my thank you for your, for your support of this community and this channel. And what it does is I, I show all this kind of cool stuff in this magazine. It, it gives me a place to put all the extra stuff I may not do for a video. So I do behind the scenes stuff, extra tips uh, that maybe not be long enough for a video, but are just cool ideas. So I throw all these extra little cool ideas out for you guys. I have some fun Roderick stuff, uh, Roderick stand up, just all kinds of fun stuff in the, in the uh, crafters layer. So, uh, consider uh, joining and becoming a patron, helping to support this community and this channel. And uh, I just wanted to bring this to you for uh, real quick. And uh, I hope you consider being a friend of the craft. Take care. Have a good one. So I want to make some oars for the boat. So I have these uh, mini dowels and a coffee stirrer. And the mini dowels are basically just straight toothpicks. So you could use a toothpick for this, but I like the dowel because it's straight. So I just cut off the end of the coffee stirrer, glued it to the end of the dowel, and there we go, instant oar, very easy. I've uh, spray painted the oars uh, flat black, and now I'm hitting them with the burnt umber. And I'll give them a nice uh, brown coat. And now uh, let them dry here on this tray. That tray really helps to keep them uh, elevated so they don't uh, stick. And now I'm going to use the uh, lighter brown, the uh, Mississippi mud, uh, on the oars there. Give them that aged look. And then some gray as a, a highlight dry brush. And there we go. That'll finish it up. Very cool. Hope you enjoyed the dragon boat.